do you think there's an argument to be made there? I think Lisa mentioned this earlier that after a shocking kind of um, encounter, things can become more clear after after you've had some time to decompress and process things. Well, that's absolutely true. Uh, what the defense is trying to show, they're always looking at credibility or lack of a proper investigation. And you just pick away at it and pick away at it and pick away at it and see if there's anything there at the end of the day. Um, here, even if they can make a point that, well, you never said anything that it was racial, they'll argue to the jury that that's something he should remember because he's African-American and that's something that maybe should have should have stuck out. But assuming for a moment that the evidence does not support that he used a racial slur. Where is that coming from? Then it shows that maybe the prosecution is playing dirty. So the defense, you're just always going to attack credibility. You're always going to attack lack of investigation. And you're just going to sit and pick away and wait and see what that lends you at the end of the day. And I truly think it goes also to the defendant's mindset. Um, is he able to appreciate that he's about to do something bad to somebody who's African-American? Or is it something where he doesn't appreciate the nature and the wrongfulness of his acts? So I think it's still going to tie mm -hmm. into somewhere the defense wants to go.